Kingdom of Asturias, Nepotian and Hamiru the First. Introduction. First of all, I would like to wish Merry Christmas or Sartun earlier for any other holiday celebration. It is a good time at this ending of the year to spend with family. Also, Happy New Year. Thank you very much, folks. Now, back to the story. Napoleon of Asturias, King of Asturias in the year 842. What is known about him is the fact that he was in some manner related to Alfonso II, possible by family. After taking up the throne, however, in short term, he was defeated at the Battle of Bridge Cornelana by the river Narse, and thus became and came to power Hamiru as King Hamiru I. According to the Chronicle of Alfonso III, the childless Alfonso II chose as his successor Hamiru, his, dis his distant kinsman and son of, of Alfonso, predecessor Bermudo I. At the time of King Alfonso death, Hamiru was outside of Asturias in Castile, where he was attending his own marriage ceremonies. The Posium, the Comes Palati, and the late king's son-in-law challenged Hamiru's succession in his absence, being supported by Asturias and Vasconius, who had been loyal to Alfonso II. Hamiru sought support in Galicia, where he formed an army and advanced toward Oviedo. Nepotian awaited the Ramiro advance at Cornelana, by the river Narcea, where either Ramiro defeated him at the Battle of the Bridge Cornelana, or he won without a fight. He was pursued and captured by Counts Scipion and Sona. After his capture, Nepotian was blinded and interned in a monastery. Upon gaining the throne, Hamiru removed the system of election through which a faction of nobles had favored the succession of Nepotian. By the time of Hamiru's reign, Vikings were frequenting the waters of Europe, coastal regions. In 844, a fleet disembarked in Coruna and began to raid the countryside, burning and pillaging. Amiru marched against them with an army of considerable strength and managed to rout the invaders. He took some of them as prisoners and burned a large part of their fleet. Amiru's reception dissuaded the Vikings enough such as that they no longer raided the coastlines of Asturias. Also, there are mentions of a battle in 844, called the Battle of Clavijo against the Moors, but no source ever mentions about this conflict from those times. Some people think this would be a mystif mythification of the historical 859 Second Battle of Albeda. During the battle, she said Saint James the Greater, the Moors layer, he said to have appeared riding a white horse and bearing a white standard, and aided the Asturian troops to defeat the Moors. What other sources claim is the repopulation of Leon, in which the Emir Abd ar Rahman, the second of Cordoba, while busy dealing with the rebellions, rebellions led by Musa ibn Musa and Viking raiders, making Hamiru to take advantage of the temporary respite by repopulating the city of Lyon. But it was short-lived. After Abd ar Rahman II dispatched both the Vikings and the rebels, in 846, sent an army led by his son, forcing the Christians to evacuate Lyon, which the Muslims burned. The city was not reoccupied until 860, 856, under Ordono I. While Asturias under Ramiro was relatively free of rain, foreign, free of foreign confrontations, the latter portion of his, the reign saw much internal conflict. According to the Chronicle Bedenses, make mention of two of these revolts led by nobles. 
After defeating the rebel Procer Pignolo, Ramiro condemned him to death along with his seven sons. The leader of the second rebellion, the Camus Palati Aldroito, he condemned to be blinded. Ramiro also acted with severity against Latronus Thieves, whose number nonetheless grew the civil discord of, of his reign. And against the Magus, or in essence, the persecution of pagans on most isolated settlements. The Chronica Obedences praises Ramiro as Yurga Injustitae, or the Rod of Justice. Ramiro also had great influence in terms of architecture and in, in which form the pre Romanesque Ramirense phase of Asturian art. Amiru the first ordered the, constru the construction of the palace of Santa Maria del Naranco and a church known as San Miguel del Lillo, in which it would collapse during the 13th century. Amiru's architecture introduced burial vaults made of tufa or limestone, the Countess of the Peninsula. The Emirate of Cordoba was under a lot of pressure. The Emirate itself was extensively decentralized, decentralized and suffered a major rebellion in the north from the Banu Quasi family. Other local nobles took it as an example and decided to also revolt themselves across all Andalus territory. territory. Meanwhile, Viking raiders sacked Seville and attacked Lisbon. The Emirate managed to curb the rebellious nobles while putting down the Banu Quasi in the north and as well repelling the Viking raiders and counter-attacking the Asturias kingdom. However, taking the opportunity, the Frankish kingdom led by William attacked and took over the city of Barcelona in the north. The Emirate managed to stabilize itself with all its internal problems and raids but in the end losing the city of Barcelona in the north, in which it would be its new border with the Frankish realm. Thank you very much, folks.